Pony, poly, relaxation, exploration, friendship, friendship is magic. Through a journey, he became a phantom spirit in the world of Pony Ma. In this phantom race, the stars looked around at the same kind that had broken through their shells, and couldn't help but spit out their tongues. In this animated film, the power of friendship is infinite, but what about love? We feed on love and fill our stomachs with it, but the stars have also seen the powerful love of Princess Inyun and Shining Armor turn into magic. As long as I have enough love, I can truly become an eternal existence. No one has written any fantasy novels on the entire internet, so I wrote them myself just out of interest. If you don't like them, don't criticize them. I hope you can also write such novels for sharing and communication. Chapter 1 Freshman You are listening at NovelFull.audio Brain storage area, don't be so serious about novels. These are my memories of childhood, so communicate more. Below is a rough history, where it was written and where it was filled in. The evil yellow demon obtains a precious enchanting bell, and the strange wind steals Wuji Mountain at night. For Leaf Sage takes away the memory stone, while Snow White Demon destroys the horses of the three tribes. Tian Lugio is the founder of Malaysia, and Professor Xingxuan is two sisters. Sisters Flower Prison Tyrek, the shadowy person drives demons and summons six sages. The dark demon foal is forced to confine itself in a virtual realm, sowing seeds to grow into a rhythmic tree. The two sisters named Chaos King again, Chaos species secretly attracted stars and vines. The Black Crystal King drives out the Crystal Kingdom, and the Moon Princess transforms into a nightmare demon. The Lightning Horse established the Princess Protector, and the Apple Plant established the Pony Valley. Master Sister leaps into a different world, and the Eldest Princess's voice explodes with purple joy. Lingguang Raspberry cuts off its horns and turns into a raging wind, ending the historical chapter of making friends. Xiaoma Valley reconnects the moon, the cute army adds Tracy. Celebrating the day of rush after sweeping the snow, the statue is broken and disorganized. When the Phantom Clan invaded the wedding, the Crystal Kingdom resisted the Black Crystal King. Unorganized return to make friends again, friend magic creates a new princess. Stepping into a different world to retrieve the afterglow, the three sea demons have a heart to know magic. The scene of the star sucking vine taking root and displaying its majesty, and the six hole box searching for friends. Tyrek escapes from prison and is arrested again. Princess Yu likes to build a new castle. Peace Town welcomes true peace, and the three sea demons sing and dance in the twilight. Cute Legion Cute Logo, Heart of Snow and Wind Empire Insect Nest, Nursery. The interior is filled with dark green rocks, and countless insect eggs fill the entire cave. Even above the cave, there are strings of insect eggs hanging one after another. Da da da, footsteps came, and a black horse shaped creature walked in. It was truly a cocoon queen, wearing a black crown on her head. Her fierce unicorn shimmered with emerald green light, and her emerald green eyes were filled with excitement. Oh, my dear people, I can't wait any longer. Today is the day when you burst out of your shell, and I can't wait to see your lovely little faces. As time passed, the sound of eggshells shattering rang out, with patterned insect eggs shattering one by one. Phantom spirits emerged one by one, their black heads and white bodies peering around in the shattered eggshells. At this moment, one of the phantom spirits was looking around at its companions in confusion, at a loss. He was originally an ordinary person on the blue star, but as soon as he woke up, he felt trapped in a small space. The stars fiercely smashed around him, and finally broke through his shell. When he opened his eyes, he saw other phantom spirits around him. When the stars turned their heads, they immediately discovered the cocoon queen admiring other phantom spirits. The more they looked, the more familiar they became. The distant memories of the stars finally came to mind. This is Cocoon Queen. Am I in the Phantom Clan? And became a Phantom Spirit. The stars were shining brightly, 
and I was surprised to find myself inexplicably transported to childhood cartoons. It was truly unbelievable, after all, this kind of thing is difficult to accept, but let it be as it comes. Pushing down the insect eggs, Chu and Xing Huang Huang crawled towards the cocoon queen with two small forelimbs. There were many similar creatures crawling around him. At this moment, Chu and Xing Huang Huang saw a unique phantom spirit, which was curled up inside the insect eggs, trembling as he looked at the other phantom spirits. I spat out my tongue, and the vivid memories of the stars surfaced. It seemed like he was the rebel leader. As for his name, I had long forgotten it. After all, it was a long time ago. I had watched seasons 1 to 8 myself, and in season 9, I forgot about the approximate ending because I was too lazy to look for paid content. The dazzling stars no longer crawled towards the cocoon queen, but instead crawled towards the trembling phantom spirit. There were no other illusionary spirits around him, and after the stars climbed up to him, they knocked on the insect eggs. Hiss what are you doing? Why don't you go visit our queen? Upon hearing the commotion, Soris stretched out his head and lowered his head to see the stars shining brightly. At this moment, he was greeting himself. You. Hello, I didn't mean to, I just. Just. Upon hearing the twisted words of Soris, the stars clearly tilted their heads and said to Soris. Are you afraid? We are all of the same kind, okay. My name is Kungsing Huang, what's your name? Upon hearing the dazzling answers of the stars, Soris was clearly surprised, but he still replied. I, um. My name is Soris, hello, the stars are shining brightly. The sudden arrival of a friend gave Soris some warmth, which led to a feeling of friendship. This made the surrounding phantom spirits feel something was wrong, and they all looked greedily at Soris. Seeing the malice around them, Soris was immediately frightened and lay back in the insect eggs. The stars roared without hesitation, and the surrounding phantom spirits were immediately frightened by the ferocity of the stars. They all fled this place, but fortunately, the surrounding environment was too noisy and did not attract the attention of the other phantom spirits. All right, Soris. Being so timid is not something a phantom spirit should do. Let's go and see our queen, after all, this is one of the few moments we can touch the queen, and I don't want to miss it. After finishing speaking, Chu and Xing Huang Huang crawled towards the cocoon queen. During this time, he didn't forget to greet Soris. Slowly approaching the cocoon queen, Chu and Xing Huang Huang finally saw her clearly. It was strange why there were many small holes on her hooves. Is it a characteristic of their clan? The dazzling stars were lifted by the cocoon queen with magic before her eyes, and her two eyes looked at each other. Oh. You're such a special little guy. Your pupils are actually pure red. I hope you can be my help in the future, ha ha ha, as she spoke, the cocoon queen burst into laughter. Chapter 2 Hunting You are listening at NovelFull.audio the stars stood alone on a cliff, gazing down at the roaring brown bear below, not panicked, but with a look of victory in hand. A red light flashed by, and the stars turned into a winged spider in an instant. Three pairs of eyes stared fiercely at the brown bear below, then roared, highlighting a spider silk that directly wrapped around the bear. However, the prey was an adult brown bear, and the spider silk spit out by the young stars could not completely bind the bear's body. But that's enough, as long as it can stick to the brown bear. With its wings flapping, the stars flew directly into the air, along with the brown bear, flying upwards and cutting off the spider silk. The brown bear had no support and fell straight down. With a loud bang, the brown bear fell to the ground, almost on the brink of death. Not enough. Animals on the brink of death are prone to arousing blood, and the starry sky spits out spider silk again, clinging to the brown bear and falling back down, leaving the bear completely silent. That's really great. The stars flew brightly to the side of the brown bear and once again transformed back into their original form, a small phantom spirit. 
looking at the brown bear in front of me, the starry sky couldn't help but drool. For several years now, the stars have been shining brightly and there has been no trace of meat. The Phantom Clan is a race that feeds on love, but in this desolate land, there is no love that can be devoured. Their daily food is only some berries, otherwise they would have been hungry all the time and could have slept anyway. I'm here for the barbecue feast. The starry Huang Huang dragged the brown bear away from this place, then found a cave under a stone, and dragged the bear inside. He found some firewood and raised flames, accompanied by waves of fragrance drifting in front of him. The starry Huang Huang's face was full of excitement. Regardless of whether the grilled meat was fully cooked or not, the stars eagerly took a bite. Barking, this taste, maybe it's okay right? After taking a bite, the starry group did not feel that the grilled meat was as delicious as before. Perhaps it was because the brown bear meat was not tasty, or because they directly grilled it, or because they were a fantasy tribe and couldn't get used to this kind of food. However, having something is always better than not having it. It's good to be able to fill one's stomach. The stars cannot bear to use the love they have finally hunted for to fill their stomachs. These loves are the foundation of their future strength and cannot be wasted. Wait, this thing is the source of magic, right? The stars were shining brightly as they looked at the stone in front of them, emitting a faint magic. This feeling is truly love. Carrying it on may be useful in the future. Eating the not-so-delicious grilled meat, the stars were thinking about the future. As one of the hunting captains of the Phantom Clan, I often led many phantom spirits to hunt for the love of other animals. And because I was the captain, I devoured more love than other phantom spirits, but that was not enough, completely not enough. Although the stars are shining brightly and the Phantom Clan is invincible, even the highly popular Pharisees of the Phantom Clan are not enemies of a single insect. However, for the Cocoon Queen, it is still a matter that can be solved by a few magical light waves. I need to hunt for more love, which will definitely make me stronger. Where is the place with the most love? After all, this desolate place is definitely not a place full of love. It's difficult to fill my stomach, and even the least love is just that. After finishing this meal, Chuanxing Huang Huang decided to move on to other places for development. For Chuanxing Huang Huang, being with this group of guys was of no help at all. Didn't they see that when attacking Canterlot, these illusionary tribes were all running errands? Perhaps combined, it may become stronger, but Starlight does not want to wait any longer. There is not much time left for Starlight. In these twenty years, various powerful creatures will invade the country of Pony and even the entire world, including their own Cocoon Queen, Disorder, Storm King, Tyrek, Senbula, and so on and then what? Happy Ending Throughout history, apart from M6, there were hardly any ponies that could help them, which fully demonstrates the importance of high.end combat power. Chuanxing Huang Huang did not want to become a role of running a dragon suit later on, and was casually mentioned. Oh, it's him. He used to be a strong captain in the Phantom Clan, but now he's also a patrol captain in the new Phantom Clan. Wiping his mouth, the stars were preparing to leave here. Just as he was about to leave the cave, a black figure blocked in front of him. Chapter 3 Leaving You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The stars looked up brightly, and the visitor was undoubtedly the Queen of Cocoons. The stars quickly bowed. Oh, my esteemed Your Majesty, how did you come to such a place? The Cocoon Queen did not answer the question of the starry sky, but turned to look at the wreckage inside the cave, a brown bear that had been nibbled on halfway. My dear stars are shining brightly, are you eating meat? The Cocoon Queen clearly has some doubts. Although the Cocoon Queen does not mind that her subjects are carnivorous and disliked, they usually put animals or other things into their specially designed cocoons for sustainable devouring love, rather than directly devouring their bodies. Your Majesty, is it okay? It's just a try. The Cocoon Queen looked at the dazzling stars in surprise, then said nothing more, 
turned around and prepared to leave, spread her wings, and casually said a word before quickly flying towards the insect nest. The hunting team in the east found a group of migrating bison passing by. Go help the hunting team and catch them back. Yes, your majesty, my queen. The stars looked up at the cocoon queen flying towards the insect nest, their blood-red eyes flickering with a light. The stars spread their wings and flew towards the distance. After passing through several sandy and rocky areas, the stars shone brightly and saw a group of bison surrounded by a group of phantom spirits. However, as they were all in their infancy, the number of creatures that could transform was limited, making them somewhat intimidating in battle. Chuanxing Huang Huang ignored and transformed into a griffin, grabbing the nearby boulder and flying straight up. Chuanxing Huang Huang flew over the buffalo herd and spotted the leader of the herd. It was a large buffalo that was easy to identify. At this moment, he was leading the tribe to resist the phantom clan, without paying any attention to the Chuanxing Huang Huang above. Seizing the target, the stars soared high and high, then diving. With the gravitational potential energy and the kinetic energy carried by the stars themselves, the boulder quickly hit the target. In an instant, it let go, and a low-altitude ascent saw the detached boulder directly hitting the leader of the bison. With the sound of breaking through the air, the herd of bison looked up at the sky in fear, but there was no time to dodge. A huge rock hit the bison leader, causing blood to splatter everywhere. Looking at the lifeless bison leader, the herd of bison immediately panicked. At this moment, the stars spoke loudly and brightly. Drive them away to the hopeless cliff. Upon hearing the command, the phantom clan hunting team immediately shifted direction and drove away the panicked herd of bison. The mighty herd of bison saw a gap left by the phantom clan, and regardless of the situation, rushed out. At this moment, the hopeless cliff was a long canyon, with stars shining brightly. First, they flew into the sky and then turned into a groundhog, instantly digging up the steep cliff. The giant rock fell, and other illusionary spirits followed suit. In this way, the herd of bison was divided into several teams by the fallen giant rock. Alright, all you need to do next is stay here, occasionally smashing a few stones to expend their stamina and so on. I think you all know that, that's it anyway. The stars were about to leave, but just then, one of the phantom spirits stopped him. So. You're just a group of stars shining brightly, right? What I'm saying is, won't you come and eat the love of the buffalo? After all, we. The stars turned their heads and glanced at them, understanding in their hearts that the phantom clan, under the leadership of the cocoon queen, was a force of the fittest. They had helped their phantom spirits like themselves, but they had given up on the delicious food in front of them. This is unreasonable. No need. After the stars finished speaking, they flew away from this place. It would take a lot of days to capture them. I don't want to waste time doing this kind of thing. I have other things to do, such as leaving this desolate land. Chapter 4 New Life you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Colois ARA Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 5. Cute Logo. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The stars strode forward brightly, while the shining stars followed behind him, staring at the dazzling stars. The dazzling stars couldn't bear the shining starlight, so he turned his head and said, Madam, although our two ponies' destinations are the same, I know I look good, but you can't keep staring at me like this, can you? Starlight shining brightly, upon hearing the dazzling words of the stars, he glanced at them and said. Who cares about you, little brat? I'm afraid you might damage my stone, after all, your stone is under mine. By the way, what do you think of cute symbols or something? Where did the stars shine and what cute symbols came from? They were all fabricated by themselves, so they casually said. I don't have any ideas, the cute logo just determines your strengths, not everything. So what do you think would happen if we didn't have cute logos anymore? Will the world become a better place? 
we have no other choice but different names, we never compete, we don't compete for win. We don't have superiority, we don't have inferiority. The stars are shining brightly, which is somewhat unbelievable. Why did this little horse start singing while speaking? Is it a characteristic of this world? Previously, the starry crowd had seen the cocoon queen singing in the insect nest, about how to devour love and so on. Other phantom spirits also assisted in singing. At that time, the starry crowd in the insect swarm was still looking confused. I don't know, but I know that your song doesn't sound very good. Upon hearing these words, Starlight was clearly a bit embarrassed. Then, ignoring the incomprehensible words, he quickly walked up and asked. Do you want to give it a try? I believe you will definitely have a different kind of fun. No, I really like my current life. The stars were clearly not believing her words, so they turned their heads and ignored her gaze. Then they walked into the cave, and at a glance, they saw the square stone. Thinking that their own stone was right below, the stars shone brightly and quickly dug up their hooves, while the shining stars dazzled at the sight of the square boulder. Is this the stone that can store cute logos? It's so beautiful. In the deep pit, Starlight immediately turned into a groundhog and quickly dug, eventually encountering the stone. Looking at the stone in front of them, Starlight opened its fangs and greedily devoured its power. At Starlight's chest, a symbol in the shape of a heart appeared, and with the suction of magic, the transparent heart began to fill with red. This is the power of the dazzling stars since their passage, possessing the effect of devouring magic and storing and releasing it. This is how my previous love was stored. After a period of time, after devouring it, the stars immediately dug out. With the disappearance of the stone's magic, the stone shattered and the cave suddenly began to sink. In the end, the starry sky managed to escape before the cave collapsed, and as soon as I turned my head, I found the starlight shining brightly as I watched myself go crazy. What did you do, you bastard? Starlight was clearly a bit annoyed. If it weren't for protecting the philosopher's stone, would have dug it out later. Chuanxing Huang Huang was obviously a bit embarrassed, but his mood dissipated afterwards. After being driven out by Xinguang Yi's laser, Chuanxing Huang Huang patted the dust off his body and continued to walk towards Mahatone. The stars are shining brightly and have already seen the trace of Mahatone. After all, I have to take Mahatone's train to Xiaoma Valley to participate in the summer celebration. One year later, the return of the Nightmare Moon is coming, and this classic must be seen with my eyes. Chapter 6 Money Flows, No Horses Set Outside You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Co Lois A R A Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 7 Gold Tronite. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Manhattan, the city where gold coins were minted. In recent days, a rumor has spread widely in Mahartan and caught the attention of Mahartan Pony. The aristocratic lords in the city are planning to purchase Transylvania on a large scale. At first, Pony didn't pay much attention to this matter. After all, it was just an optional statement. However, with the passage of time, the price of Tronite suddenly doubled, which is intriguing. On the roadside, two ponies are walking side by side. Have you heard about it? The price of Tronite has increased, it seems like it's due to a shortage of supply. I've heard about it for a long time, and there are indeed ma purchasing these ores on a large scale. I heard that the price has tripled now and there is no trace of Tronite in the surrounding market. If you want it, you have to go elsewhere, but the shipping cost has become an issue. Hey if I had known earlier, I would have gathered more trans stones so that I could have made a fortune. Haha <laughs> get rich. I used to think the same way. Mahatone is full of gold, but it never belongs to us. And just as they were talking, a group of ponies suddenly ran over from them, shouting something like trans stone. Upon hearing these words, the other ponies on the roadside also glanced at each other and ran over with them. On the side of a road, several carriages were piled up with stones, 
and a grey-brown road horse was seen maintaining order at the stall. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just passing by. What are you doing here? We want to buy your tronite. What? These are all used as inferior fuels. Why do so many ponies want these broken stones? Seeing the road horse carrying wheat straw looking at them with a bewildered expression, it was obvious that the stranger had not heard of the rumors about the city, and they couldn't help but get excited. Why are you asking so many questions? I'm going to buy it. That's right, that's right. Hurry up and give you the coins. This is mine, I came first. When the little horses were about to fight for these stones, the road horse quickly prepared to fight. Don't argue, I'll sell you these trans stones. Upon hearing this, the pony scrambled for it, and in no time, only a sluggish horse and the gold coin next to him remained. At this moment, a flying horse dressed in a suit walked over. When everyone saw him, they quickly gathered around and saw the flying horse saying after seeing all the horses. I heard there's a sale of Tronite here. That's right, that's right, it's us. Pegasus didn't waste any time either. He gave the horses the gold coins and left without looking back. Seeing that he had earned twice the gold coins in a blink of an eye, the wealth came too quickly. Thinking of the scene of becoming rich in the future, the horses quickly chased the departing horse. Hey, do you still have trans stone? Upon hearing the question and answer, the horse pulling the carriage stopped and quickly answered. Yes, it's in my warehouse. Do you still want it? I said these broken stones are useless. What are you meddling in so much? Hurry up and tell us the address so we can go and get it. Fearing that the other party would discover the price of the city's trans stone, the other ponies quickly urged. Upon hearing that there was still one, the ponies that had not yet been snatched became excited and were about to make a fortune. So they quickly asked for the address and went home to retrieve the coins, fearing that other ponies would take the lead. But what they didn't notice was that this kind of thing was scattered throughout Mahaton. When other ponies saw the warehouse full of trans stones, their eyes couldn't hide their greed. At this moment, news of Mahaton's purchase of trans stones at ten times the price spread widely, and the group of aristocratic masters seemed to have received the news, just on their way. This undoubtedly gave the ponies a shot of stimulant, and they began to rush to buy them. Some even started bidding, afraid of being one step late. In just a few minutes, the entire warehouse of trans stones was sold out, and they returned to Manhattan, waiting for the noble ponies to purchase them. Dreams of becoming rich began to bloom everywhere. Chapter 8 The Great Commercial Road You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text Chapter 9 Breaking Dreams You are listening at NovelFull.audio Due to the increasing prosperity of the mysterious trade route of the Duke of Sapphire, more and more ponies rushed into Mahartan, and this kind of pie-dropping activity was simply giving money. But with it came constant questioning, only knowing that the Duke of Sapphire had an intersection with a mysterious figure. It was said that he was a great pirate from the south, which could ensure the safety of the trade route. Even the cosmic princess could not change it. This kind of thing is not widely promoted, after all, who can guarantee that the cosmic princess will not cut off their financial path? This false prosperity is driving Mahartan to grow day by day, with the city constantly expanding in size and more and more ponies appearing to be thriving. In just six months, it even surpassed the economic level of the capital city of Pony, Cantalot. Until early one morning, the Duke of Sapphire, together with other nobles, announced that he would select representatives from investors to follow the trading route, and for a moment, the entire Manhattan began to boil. The ultimately elected representatives and a team of chambers of commerce left Manhattan amidst the farewell of other ponies. A month later, Bad news came that the selected representatives had angered the Storm King due to financial issues, resulting in the destruction of commercial routes, seizure of supplies, and completion of transactions. Mahartan began to fall into an economic crisis, and the entire Mahartan's ponies were filled with complaints. 
In order to better obtain funds, the ponies invested all the money they earned in it to obtain better returns. The following month, this also confirmed their hypothesis, and the cycle came. But this time, they lost all their money, lost all their gold coins, closed shopping malls, went bankrupt factories, and a large number of ponies lost their chance to survive. However, their wealthy life in the past six months has made them forget their original hardships, and they have fallen into the streets without paying attention. No pony knows what tomorrow will be like. The hard.earned savings turn into nothing overnight. The difficulties faced by family and friends around them also lead to their own suffering. The ponies begin to numb themselves, attempting not to believe that this is the result of one night. But when the Duke of Sapphire and the other ponies angrily found the group of elected representatives voting for the ponies, they punched them and couldn't go back. And in this difficult environment, an organization called the Salvation Team shuttled through the horses in Mahatone. In the tavern, nearly a hundred ponies gathered together, listening to the lecture of the unicorn in front of them. Ignorant residents, you have all been deceived. In fact, the Duke of Sapphire has no business dealings and is completely deceiving everyone. Due to no intention of concealing facts, the starry crowd did not handle details at all, and the ponies were blinded by the huge benefits. It was only now that they discovered that this trade route was full of loopholes. With the passionate speech of the unicorn on the stage, many little horses were filled with indignation and swore to tear this group of vampire nobles into pieces. Therefore, in a carefully planned conflict among the stars, the noble little horses openly mocked them and revealed the truth. Then, Mahatone's rebellion began. The ponies cut off all channels of communication with the outside world to prevent the noble ponies from escaping from Mahatone. Then, relying on their numerical advantage, they rushed into the noble manor and discovered a mountain of golden refuge. The nobles sought pleasure, while they themselves slept and slept outdoors, causing a moment of public outrage. Chapter 10 Breaking the Cocoon into a Butterfly You are listening at NovelFull.audio Finally, on the New Era Square in Manhattan, countless ponies gathered together to enjoy this beautiful scenery. In the center of the square, the statue of the Duke of Sapphire, which was spontaneously built by the people, is stepping forward, representing the way to lead Manhattan towards glory. Underneath the statue, the Sapphire Duke, bound in various colors, was in a miserable state. The leader of the uprising wielded his sword and declared that the last nobleman in Manhattan had been wiped out. Oh! That's great, we succeeded. Long live! This is our victory. The rebel army piled up the gold coins hidden in the aristocratic manor and distributed them back. During this month of arduous struggle, all the ponies formed deep feelings. At first, while the nobles were having a beautiful dream, the ponies rushed in and caught them off guard. But then came the moment of counterattack, but in vain, they struggled and were eventually arrested a month later. On the square, the ponies sang and danced, celebrating their hard-earned victory, drinking the fine wine they had taken from the aristocratic manor, and eating the delicious food they could never enjoy in their lifetime. Emotions were flying. And all of this is because the pony in the center of the pony, precisely because of his timely action, avoided the transfer of the nobles. During this period, many ponies raised their glasses and toasted him, but the leader was injured in the fight and could not drink, and refused the other ponies' kindness, which made the other ponies even more admire each other. Chuanxing Huang Huang stood in the center of the pony, looking at the sapphire duke lying beside him in a pool of blood. He couldn't help but laugh. After kidnapping the sapphire duke, Chuanxing Huang Huang glued him under the bed and then transferred him out. Afterwards, he restrained his unjust gains, exposed them, and secretly incited an uprising, ultimately resulting in the current situation. Looking at the horses in front of them talking widely, the stars were drooling brightly. The wealth on Mahartan is occupied by 1% of the nobles, who occupy 99% of the wealth, while the 99% of the ponies can only distribute that 1% of the wealth. Now I have piled up all of Mahatone's wealth here, the hard-won camaraderie, and this 100 times wealth belongs to me. 
Emotions have reached their peak Chuanxing Huang Huang took a sip of tea and then reached out to signal that the ponies received instructions to start burning those trans stones. It was the danger caused by these things that they naturally wanted to vent their anger, but what they didn't know was that trans stones were mixed with many other substances by Chuanxing Huang Huang. As the flames burned, the ponies danced around the campfire, creating a lively atmosphere. Suddenly, they felt drowsy. At first, the ponies didn't pay much attention to the changes in their bodies, thinking it was due to excessive fatigue. It wasn't until later that they realized something was wrong, but as soon as their eyes closed, they fell asleep. The entire Mahartan fell into silence, except for the campfire burning brightly in the square, and there was no other sound. The stars standing on the side looked at the fallen ponies and couldn't help but burst out laughing. Then they transformed back into a phantom spirit and began the final activity, aiming to complete it before other cities were discovered. Success or failure depended on this one move, and if not successful, it would be benevolent. The stars cast a pair of scrolls into the fire, and a green shield burst out from the flames, enveloping the entire Mahatone. Then came the most skilled part of the Phantom Clan, devouring love and their emotions.